dear judges of the ITAC Canadian CIO of the Year Award. In January 2014, Bruce Ross joined RBC with the challenge of transforming technology and helping to reimagine the bank of the future. I didn't know the organization, but I knew the capabilities of the Royal Bank. And so if you're coming to the, you know, this massive and great organization that's been in existence for 150 years, that is in number one or two of each of its markets in which it competes, then you have the ability to, you know, to make a bold vision to say, you know, how are we going to actually continue and build off of that? So I felt emboldened by the opportunity and, and took, took the uh, chance. Bruce came to the bank, uh, very quickly articulated a revolutionary plan to change the way products were developed, the way IT was organized, the relationship between the technology department and its customers. Bruce understood that to truly achieve his vision, it was about a culture and mindset change. So I, as the leader, had to make sure that the team felt comfortable that a, they knew what an engineering culture was, and B, that they could live within that. And there were a couple of ways to explore that. First, we defined it. You know, an engineering culture is one that, uh, that rewards curiosity, trying new things, investing in new technologies, being a leader in those things, not necessarily a follower. Two, that not everything is going to be successful. You had to be willing to fail in some things. And we have to continue to be willing to fail in some things. Now, some things are more critical than others. You can't just fail you on know, everything. But setting the tone that says it's okay to call something red versus green and changing that culture. And then the third piece of it was really focused around what are the outcomes we're trying to achieve. Could you draw a straight line between what you do as an engineer in RBC and a business outcome? Bruce's team has increased agile projects by 75% in three years. And you know, when you think of it, we look at development of uh, technology as a factory. And we look at this and we say agile was not dissimilar to Henry Ford introducing the assembly line into the car manufacturing process. And what it does for us today is that you know, we're able to get, a, uh, get capability out the door faster, significantly faster, an order of magnitude faster. He's passionate about contributing to Canada's innovation and technology ecosystem to ensure it remains vibrant. I think Canada has got a great opportunity to be uh, important on a global stage. And, uh, and we also have to realize the competition coming into Canada's, you know, since it's virtual in many areas now, it's not just physical things that you can see, it's the logical things that you don't see. And that are, you know, that I think in, in IT, we have a chance to stand up and be really part of the competitive agenda for our country.